Welcome to Database Mart's channel. In this video, we will review the GPU H100 and showcase our eight selected models. For more detailed test data, click the link in the comments section. Let's first take a look at the GPU H100 server configuration. We test three versions of DeepSeq R1. The first version has 14 billion parameters, with a GPU utilization of 75% and an inference speed of 75.02 tokens per second. This version demonstrates high GPU utilization, indicating efficient use of computational resources while maintaining stable and efficient inference speed. The second is DeepSeq R1 with 32 billion parameters. This version further improves GPU resource utilization, reaching 85%, while the inference speed decreases to 45.36 tokens per second. Next, the model parameters increase to 70 billion. As the model size further expands, GPU utilization approaches its maximum at 92%, the inference speed drops to 24.94 tokens per second. The fourth test is Quen with 72 billion parameters. GPU utilization reaches 83%, and the inference speed is 28.17 tokens per second. The fifth is the Quen model with 110 billion parameters. As the parameter scale increases, the model size grows from 41 GB to 63 GB, resulting in a further decrease in inference speed to 20.19 tokens per second. The sixth is the LAMA 3.3 with 70 billion parameters. This model achieves the highest GPU utilization in this set of tests, reaching 93%, while the inference speed drops to 24.34 tokens per second. The seventh is the Zephyr model with 141 billion parameters. GPU utilization is 83%, and the inference speed is 37.81 tokens per second, demonstrating relatively high computational efficiency. The final test is Mixtrol with the parameter scale further expanded to 8 multiplied by 22 billion. GPU utilization remains steady at 83%, but the inference speed slightly decreases to 37.89 tokens per second. Despite the larger model size, the distribution of computational resources remains stable, though there is a slight reduction in inference performance. Due to its higher flops and more advanced tensor cores, the H100 performs significantly better than the A100 in Olama benchmark tests and LLM inference. If running 70 billion to 110 billion models, the H100 is the better choice. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Follow us to learn more about servers.